you were talking about definitions. How, uh, what is a Viking as opposed to someone who's not? Um, that's also it, that's a difficult one to answer. Um, Viking in the English language tends to be sort of anybody who lived over there at that time. But in the Scandinavian languages, even today, um, Viking is much more specific. It's those people I showed you at the beginning who go, to go out and do all the raiding and things like that. Um, there's an idea that being a, a Viking in that specific sense is, is almost a job. It's a career choice. You can do that, and then you can stop doing that and do something else, and you can go back to it if you want. Um, and you also don't necessarily have to come from what's now Scandinavia. Um, so there's people from all over Europe doing this, though most of them are, are Scandinavians. Um, in terms of a, a cultural connection, at the beginning of the Viking Age, Scandinavia is a series of small tribal communities. There are no nation states. There are no Swedes and Danes and Norwegians. Um, that process of building that is what happens during the Viking Age. Um, partly as a result of all this raiding and so on, which brings a lot of money that fuels these kinds of attempts to build thrones and, and, um, and small kingdoms and so on. And you have this process of, of gradual consolidation of, of social groupings that get bigger and bigger with more and more powerful kings. And, and in our sense, that's what eventually makes you a Viking. But there's also the geographical boundaries are much more flexible. So um, Sweden, what we would think of as, as Swedish influence in the Viking Age, certainly extends very far into what's now Finland. Um, Denmark goes into what's now southern Sweden and what's now northern Germany and so on. Um, there is evidence that certainly by the end of the Viking period, people are starting to differentiate themselves. So there was an idea of being a Dane, which is different from being that. And being an Icelander is different from being a Norwegian, even though your grandparents were probably Norwegians and so on. So that this, um, this is a period when those identities are first very fluid and then start to get more and more rigid. So being a Viking is something that evolves during this period, but it is centered on Scandinavia. <laughs>